So right now we're weighing sheep in a static weight crate to um, record the actual body weights. And this data we can use then to compare to the walkover weigh system which is actually out in the paddock and calibrate that up. Um, we do this once a week so that um, we can get those calibrations and get some really uh, accurate body weight data as well. Um, in the paddock, um, the GPS collars give us an idea of where the animals are actually moving in that paddock. And uh, the project overall, what it's actually looking at is correlating the, um, the movement of, of the animal and where they're actually grazing with their change in body weight. So we've been tracking these sheep for probably eight months now and we'll conti continue tracking them for another few months. And uh, basically um, we'll be able to look at um, where their productivity in terms of their red meat gain, so their growth, the amount of um, uh, production that they've put on, which parts of the paddock are actually contributing to that. Um, so some parts of a paddock uh, can be often overgrazed and, and some parts of the paddock aren't grazed uh, as heavily and, and basically that's what we're able, able to do with this study. So we've also got um, uh, taggle tags on the on the collars as well and those taggle tags are a uh, the, white ones. the white ones. They're a prototype um, real-time tracking system mm -hmm. So the, uh, the GPS collars, we have to download them to get the data off. We call it a store on board collar. But the taggle tags actually locate that animal in real time and give us that information so we can be back at the office and dial up on the, on the net and actually see where those sheep are in, in that particular radio, paddock. Radio waves? Yeah, so it's actually it's a little bit like reverse GPS. So it's radio beacon triangulation. So it mm -hmm. pings out a, a radio signal and then we have towers that are located around the farm.